Um, so for the next one that we need to talk about is now let's just go and think about, let's say I have my two vectors, u and then v. So I have my vectors u1 and u2, and then I have my vectors v1 and v2. Now, we already talked about in our addition, yes? Well, we just worked out that v accidentally comes from 2 instead of the v. Yes. It's a big difference, right? We talked about the coordinate point versus the vector. So it's a big point. So just really get used to it. Um, so when we're looking at this, now if we talk. So I'm going into explaining that, yes, what we're going to be working on now is subtraction. So if I say, what is now u minus v? Algebraically, we can just represent this as u1 minus v1, comma, u2 minus v2. Right? So algebraically, it's going to pretty much kind of make a lot of sense. Okay? Now, subtraction, I like to kind of look at this way. All right? And this is my preferred method. You guys know if I do 4 minus 3, you, get one. you do get 1. We can also write that as 4 plus a negative 3. Right? Yeah. Very good. So let's just go through something real quick. If I have a vector v, and let's say my vector v is at 2 comma 4. Now, we talked about scalars, right? What if I had negative v? What do you think that's going to now produce? Negative 2 over negative 4. Negative 4, right? So let's go over 2, 4. 1, 1, 2, up 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. But, so that's vector v. And then negative v is going to be negative 2, 1, 2, 3, 4. Does everybody follow me with that? V and then negative V. So if I have my U and my V, right? And let's just say, um, let's say here's vector V, and then here's vector U. Or we said this was U and that was V, right? OK. Ladies and gentlemen, sometimes it can get a little tricky with the subtraction to kind of understand and contemplate what subtraction looks like. So rather than writing out, because if I want to be able to figure this out, rather than writing out u minus v, I prefer to write out u plus a negative v. So if this is what v looks like, we now know that negative v is going to look something like that, right? Right? And then what do we do with addition? If I want to add two vectors, how do we do that? We just take one vector. And then we apply it to the terminal point of the other vector, right? So I'm trying to find the subtraction. I'm trying to find u minus v. Rather than doing u minus v, I'm going to do u plus negative v. So I find out what negative v is. And then how do you add those two? Well, you take this, remember you take, since they have the same initial point, you take the initial point of negative v and you transpose it now so, it's at, so it starts at the terminal point of vector u. Then, once you have this, you notice is then you have a parallelogram where now you can find your resultant vector, which right here, which is going to be u plus negative v, or u minus v in reality. Yes? No, no, no. You, that's, that's nice. No, you don't have to use the parallelogram, but I, we use the parallelogram just so you guys can see how it works. You just need to understand that the u plus negative v is this red resultant vector right here. Okay? So you just need to understand how to get that. You don't need to create, you don't need to add this third side to you'll see the parallel. You just need to understand that to find v, then to add them, you take your initial side, add it to your terminal, and then that's going to be your resultant vector, which is u plus negative v. That's it. That's your resultant vector. This is u plus negative v, or u minus v. Yeah, but if you had numbers. Oh, well, the numbers, you'd have to multiply by the scalar first, and then do the resultant vectors. Scalar? What are your scale? You had 2 and 3 were your scalars, right? No, I'm not talking about that one. Oh. I'm just talking about, in general, u minus v. So it would be u 
minus a negative v, right? Because if you had if you're looking at a negative two for u equals one three, and then you change the v to a negative, what yeah, does your max look like? Well, let's go and look through. You're looking at like here. If yeah, I did like these two. Okay, well, let me go and do an example then separately, okay? I just want to go through the, so let's, let's go through it. 